<laughs> so hey guys, yeah, it's uh, time for another ice bucket challenge to clog up your newsfeed. Um, it's taken me over 24 hours to do this one because before I did it, I wanted to look at kind of what ALS is, the story of why we're dumping ice over our head, that sort of thing. So um, ALS actually stands for um, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or it's called Lou Gehrig's disease, um, after the Yankee player, uh, baseball player, Lou Gehrig, who was an absolute big hitter, um, running home runs left, right and centre, and then suddenly his performance started dropping off, and no one really knew why. He eventually went for a checkup, and um, they diagnosed him as having ALS. He gave an absolutely amazing farewell speech that's definitely worth YouTubing, um, just search for it, it's, it's really moving. Um, and then two years after his diagnosis, he died. So what is ALS? Well, all of our muscles are controlled by motor neurons in our brain, which are also linked to motor neurons in our spinal cord. And what happens is that ALS causes um, the signal to break down between those motor neurons and, and the muscles, it, it, it degrades the motor neurons themselves. And that means that if the signals don't get to the muscles, the muscles aren't being used, so the muscles start wasting away. And then eventually it leads to paralysis. Uh, but the thing is the mind stays completely intact. Um, ALS is completely incurable. Um, we're, we're kind of searching for, for what we can do to help. There is one drug that does um, slow down the onset of the symptoms, but only by a few months. Um, and unfortunately, ALS is fatal for sufferers, most sufferers, um, within five years of diagnosis. So what have the scientists worked out? Well, they have found that there are particular mutated genes that are linked to ALS. So it is hereditary in part, about 10% of the cases of ALS are uh, hereditary, go down um, family ties. Uh, the 90%, who knows, uh, various ideas. In February, um, scientists discovered some mutated enzyme, a particularly mutated enzyme that leads to cells going awry in this way. Uh, potentially there might be antibiotics that block the communication, uh, the transmission of that enzyme, but no human tests have been done yet. So um, Stephen Hawking, I'm sure you've heard of Stephen Hawking, 51 years ago he was diagnosed with something very similar to ALS, a type of ALS, uh, motor neurone disease. Um, so that shows you the variety that there is um, out there in this and what a big challenge it is to try to work out what's going on. So sorry for filling your news feeds. Uh, sorry that it's taken over 24 hours to all the people that have uh, nominated me. Uh, I wanted to read up on it all. And uh, I also wanted to collect water. So this is rainwater packed full of um, plenty of ice cubes <laughs> in there. Um, about three packs of ice cubes. Uh, and then obviously that's not rainwater ice cubes. So I promise I'll strike the ice cubes for my G&Ts for a few weeks. Um, thanks very much to Brett Walton, to Mike uh, Houston, to Steve Mould, to Dave Cornthway. This is why I'm wearing Dave's, uh, one of Dave's t-shirts. Um, Let's do this, I guess. Remember guys, please donate. It's uh, alsa.org. I think it's a really important uh, thing. Awareness for this sort of thing is really important. And I looked into the LS Association and uh, they're a really credible charity. So uh, cold enough as it is, let's do this. Whoa. I'd like to nominate Joe in Seattle, Rick Bray in Australia, and of course, Charlotte Willis here. Please donate, lsa.org. <laughs>